Before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to help the channel grow and keep up to date with our latest videos. Hi and welcome to another video by me, Flojo. Today we're looking at Power Apps and we're focusing on Canvas applications. We're going to be looking at how to create a landing screen. So let's say you are running a business and you created this application or you are working on behalf of a business and you're creating this application for a client. You've created a category boarding application. Now what this entails is you have the name of the cat, the breed, the color, any special dietary requirements, and a date and time for when they are going to be at the boarding center. Now, this was great six months ago, but they've come back to you and they want you to essentially update and add more functionality to the application. So what we're going to be focusing on is how we go from having this category boarding screen as our first screen that loads when we load our Power App Canvas application to having a landing screen of a menu screen being displayed and having our category boarding screen form be an optional selection. So let's jump into the Power Apps Creation Center and see how this is done okay so i have a canvas app created the one that we just looked at uh, previously which is the category boarding i have a boarding screen i have a submit button a title and the cat image up here and then i have the form okay so what we want to do then is we want to create the landing page the landing screen the menu screen that we actually want so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click new screen and just choose blank. Then this is going to give me screen two. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rename that to um, menu screen, for example. Okay, so we have a menu screen. Now what I want to do is I want to keep it similar to the other layout. So I'm just going to select the title and the cat image. I'm going to copy that. I'm just going to paste that into here so it's consistent throughout the application. I'm just going to change this to main menu. Okay, so now we've got a boarding screen that is our screen that we land on. We've got a main menu screen. So let me just change the title to menu title. Oops, capital E there. And let's change this to menu cat image just so we keep consistent with our naming right so what I want to then do is I want to add two buttons so I'll add one button first and I'll just call this um, a boarding screen and then what we're going to do is we're going to add another button so i'm just going to copy and paste that and we'll add um, just other screen for example so at the moment if i click on these obviously they're not doing anything but what i want is i want when i select the boarding screen i'll navigate to the particular screen that we originally had so on select up here we can just do navigate we'll open the parentheses and then you can type the screen name so we do boarding and then screen and we can select that there and you can see that we have the target up here is the boarding screen so if we just close the parentheses what that's going to do is it's going to just um, take us there but you can actually add uh, different transitions if you wanted to but for the purpose of this video we're just going to use the out-of-the-box transition um, which comes with navigate okay so now if I click on this button what's going to happen is on select is going to get triggered it's going to navigate to the boarding screen so if I click on there we have our boarding screen now the problem is when we run our application we're still landing on the boarding screen now this is due to the structure of the screens now if we look over to the left here 
We've got boarding screen at the top and then menu screen. What we need to do is we need to move the menu screen to the top and whatever the top screen is will be the landing page. So now when we run our application, the application will run, go to our menu screen and we'll be on our main menu and then we'll be able to select the boarding screen and then move into the previously created screen that we had. Now we have our boarding screen as our second screen. Um, what we can do is we can just go back to the main menu, just make sure the button's working. Obviously it does because we haven't changed anything. And that is how you can create a landing screen, such as a menu screen on a Canvas Power App application. Thanks for watching another video by me, Flo Joe. If you like the video, don't forget to hit that like button or select a video on your screen right now to continue learning more about the Power Platform.